Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to About Face, where we are all about being fearless, ageless, creating confidence, and empowering women. I'm super excited um, to be launching my rebrand and to have you all here with me. It makes me super happy that we're all growing together and empowering one another, and I appreciate you so, so much, you guys. So this is my first video as officially about face and I thought I would show you what I've been doing lately for my eyebrows. So I did have my eyebrows mi microbladed a long time ago. They're pretty, if you can see, this one in the bud is pretty sparse and thin. This one's a little bit fuller. I used to have gorgeous, gorgeous brows. One bad wax in my 20s and they never grew back quite the same. So I do fill them every day, mo most of the time. But lately I've been using just a couple pharmacy products that I'm really, really enjoying along with a retractable brow pencil from, this one is a wet and wild one. I'm really waiting for pharmacy to get me a retractable brow pencil. I will be mentioning that to Sanan tomorrow on the plane because I really, really love a more fine point. So something like that, this one's like four bucks. So that's why I love it. Um, I use a spoolie and what I do is I just brush up the hair in my brow, and a lot of times I'll use a little bit of the pharmacy hair wax just to keep them in place. I don't have that by me, so I'm just not gonna do it today. I'm gonna skip it. This is a great trick, all right? If you have a little bit more sparse brows, I've been using our ink liner in the color brown. You can see the end of the tip shows that it's brown. This is the brown one, along with our Be Fit clear brow gel mascara love this stuff and it does come in different colors we have light medium and dark you can pick a color tinted one if you want but lately i've been using the clear so what i'll do is i'll take the liner and i just kind of fake draw little tight and very light-handed because these liners are kind of pigmented and i'll just kind of start and just lightly create like hair strokes in my brow and what that's doing is kind of filling in that sparser part of my brow where I don't have a lot of hair. And it's giving it the illusion that I have hair there. So I know it looks a little dark initially, but it's not going to by the time I'm done. And I just kind of, I do it like really light handed so that there's just like, it's not too much, you know? I don't want to do it too, too dark or too heavy. Just like so, so just enough. And then I'll recreate it on this brow. I'm gonna pause and do this brow. Okay, so now you can see that I've kind of drawn in a few of like hair strokes. And then I go back in with the spoolie and I just sort of brush over. And what it does is it kind of mutes the harshness of the pencil um, of the liner so that it doesn't look too, too dark, okay? So that's what I do. See how I brush it out a little bit? And you could see that it looks like hair strokes because usually I'll use like um, the powder or just pencil and I really wasn't liking the effect. It's, it was sort of like more like a powder brow and it was too solid and too heavy looking and I felt like it was making me look older. So I really like, look at how fine I can make the hair strokes with that. And it's just, it, it's an amazing product because it stays put, right? So then I just brush them out like I'm saying, like this. And then what I'll do you can use the brow powder. If you want to stick with pharmacy and you want to use the brow powder, you absolutely can. I'm going to grab this other one. I grabbed two new Wet n Wild pencils the other day. One's like a lighter brown, this one. So I'm going to use this one. It's a little bit of a lighter brown. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to line underneath the brow, starting at the bud, really light, really light handed, and kind of just trace the natural shape of my brow just like so and pull it up into where I've put the hair strokes right there just a little bit right there in the bud a little bit over the top this is how I do mine you can do it however you you know like it just like so and now my brow is filled in. It looks really nice. See the difference between the two once I line underneath. Now you can even go up a step further and you can clean it up with some concealer and outline the brow to make it look super duper clean. Now I'm gonna take the Clear Brow Gel Mascara. I wipe off the excess and I'm gonna go over the top of the hairs like so. 
I love this look, you guys. It just makes it look way more natural, like I have hair there. Do you see how incredible that is? So just by using a few products, you guys, I use, I'm gonna finish this one off camera. I just really wanted to hop on, do a quick video for you guys. So this is our brown ink liner. If you have black brows, we have black as well. The clear brow gel mascara, and then a eyebrow pencil of your choice. I happen to like this wet and wild one. Um, because it is so fine and retractable and pharmacies is just like more this shape and it has the wider tip on the end I just prefer a finer point so it's all preference but and that is how I get my brows to look beautiful so this one I'm gonna go finish I hope you like the suggestion let me know if there's anything that you guys need help with or want to see. I love to hop on and help you guys with uh, quick makeup tips and tricks. And thank you so much for all your love and support. I appreciate you and I will see you all later. Bye.